Okay, so um, as promised, here we are in Vault 88. Uh, once you fight your way through at the rock quarry, you come right here and you have a thing from your Pip Boy that you pull out and click in there and it opens the vault. There's Codsworth. You might remember Codsworth. He was the first, he was your butler when before the war. He's usually a Mr. Handy, you know, one of those round guys that has the arms with the saws on it. Here's the door. Walk in, and welcome home, Vault 88. Uh, armed to the teeth, because you can get attacked. Uh, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I've read where you can. Uh, there's the overseer that you meet. She's the only person there uh, when you first get there. Uh, there's dog meat. You did read that properly. This is Pip Boy in Vault 88 jumpsuit. Uh, you can put those on your people, or you can put them on anybody really, if they're a companion or not. There's a big laser. Um, again, you can get attacked, and it hasn't happened to me yet. But if you do and you're not around, then they can come and mess your stuff up, and I don't want that. So, there's my magazines, armor. Uh, can't do anything. Can't craft anything while I'm wearing this this armor. Uh, here's some displays that I got, and I use them for my different outfits and stuff. I, I generally only wear two different things <laughs> while I play the game. Of uh, that right there was like your your outfits gives you charisma and stuff. This is your armor, extra armor uh, that I have better stuff than, but I just haven't gotten rid of and. That's where I hold the pip boys and stuff that I put on my people who come here to Vault 88. Uh, this is a pretty handy device that they have that you can add. It allows you to set up instead of going and finding all the people that are in the in the area and and deciding to give them you know, follow me and show them how to you know you want them to to do the farming or whatever. You can kind of control that from here. Really helps you out. Uh, the people by default will farm uh, if they're there long enough. Um, this is pretty handy right here. You're able to track your people, so if you don't know where they are, whether it's Vault 88 or anywhere else in the world, um, it will put a tag on them so you can find them. So uh, here's just some extra odds and ends. Of course, my little Pippa Boy things this is just extra junk you know find people's notes and stuff on <laughs> and whatever I just kinda like to keep that stuff of course here's your weapons uh, workbench here's the weapons I have some extra stuff as you can see in here I don't really I don't get rid of many things that have the stars because eventually you know you wear you end up having a whole lot more uh, of money than you need which is I'm I'm kind of at that spot now with 17,000, and you know I'm almost done with the game because I'm gonna play Mass Effect. But Righteous Authority is is a big one, and this Violent Radium rifle I use probably 90 percent of the time. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff over here. This thirst zapper here at the bottom is pretty funny when you're in the uh, when you first go to the uh, Nuka Cola world you go through a gauntlet and you fight this guy and he's pretty much invulnerable and you find this water pistol is what it is and you can squirt it on him and it kind of shorts out his equipment here's a and you can kill him here's a junk jet which is a pretty famous thing I like those but I never use them because I don't use the heavy things I don't use the fat man and all that kind of stuff the spray and pay, uh, prey is the same kind of 45 caliber that the that the other one is, but it just goes <laughs> so it wastes a lot of ammo. I mean, you kill sh kill stuff pretty fast, but it wastes a lot of ammo. Um, I'll show you my armor. This this head thing that I have here is pretty cool. Uh, I got it from from Nuka Cola World from some of the people over there. Uh, it's pretty strong, and it looks cool. I've buffed all my stuff up pretty well at this point. Uh, you can see my power armor is pretty neat. Got Nuka-Cola power armor. You'll see that in a minute. Um, 
definitely I've gotten used to using it and I've buffed up my nuclear physicist or whatever perk what allows me to go 200% longer on a uh, a fusion core and you just have to come back every now and then and, and fix your armor uh, my regular armor <clears throat> as you can see I, I, everything I have has some kind of buff to it uh, I'm I'm all the way up as, as far as armor and all that stuff goes you know perks so I can I can make the most powerful of everything the, the strongest oh, this is just a little extra thing I need to sell um, and you you have all new new posters and stuff like this you can put around you've got a whole bunch of them uh, as you see the, the wire hanging around I like to have a lot of lighting in these places and you know I had to, to dr put all these wires on the wall and all this you know stuff it's silly I don't know why I put all that time into it but you know because sometimes they're not I um, mean yeah, if you want to have a a laser turret out there you got to do that you see it it goes out there uh, there's more uh, there's a robot I created right there on the left you can see I've got my general weapons and armor people to sell stuff to me so I don't have to always go into good neighbor or to, to the Diamond City or anything like that these all of these outfits right here that you're seeing they're they're all from Nuka Cola World. So you haven't seen them before. And you know, they always give like one charisma or whatever. This is from a ghoul I killed. It's pretty cool. Uh of course I would want to wear the magical thing right there, but what I have is better, so it's a pretty big vault as you can see, and I built everything in here. This thing was totally empty. Um, I've collected quite a few power armor suits. Uh, I have two that are three that are better than the rest. This is the coolest one I have, I think. Nuka Cola World. You go through a lot of stuff to get this one, I can tell you. Um, as you can see, I actually am using the helmet and the right arm for it because I did, the kind I have now, it didn't come with a helmet or, or right arm, so needed to improvise this is the out power armor the guy was wearing when I go in and, and shoot him with the water pistol and it shorts him out he was actually on a uh, it's pretty powerful as you can see he was actually on a uh, bumper car place and you know how bumper cars have their uh, the metal rod that sticks up and touches the top and that's where it gets electricity but well, that's what he was doing that's why I use the water pistol on him and it shorts it out and let you kill him um, but he's tough of course here's all my uh, stuff I, I really wanted to just go down here and change my didn't want to do that change my headlamp because I don't like that one I, the bright the one I had just a minute ago was not very good I didn't think so anyway yeah I'll exit out of here see Codsworth getting all over the place there got like I said I've gotten to where I really like the power armor I never really used it in any of the other playthroughs uh, even in even in the uh, Fallout 3 where it was a different type of power armor I still didn't use it um, this right here as you can see I've connected all this electricity it goes over because I'll show you a little bit later where the where the, the uh, power station is that I created. Here is the robot workbench. Can't do it with the armor on. Let me get out of this thing. Robot robot workbench is super cool because you can create as many. You know, I've seen Farmer 1, Farmer 2, and Scavenger. Triorce was one I made for Wyeth. Ada, she's a companion that you find. Uh, up here, as you can see, you can just alter them that's what I did to Codsworth you can change them and make them really really powerful carry 440 pounds for you have all you can see how strong they are uh, and I did that to Codsworth as well you can also put those big legs like those big sergeant things you can put those on them but they get stuck <laughs> when you try to get into tighter places um, 
All right, so you've seen that here. I've, I, you also get a whole lot more uh, things to build with. Uh, oh, there's a new person. I need to come back and put a outfit and stuff on. I like to put their put the Vault 88 outfits on these people, so I know who's new and who's not. Uh, so I don't have to just guess. Pit boy, so he, all kinds of cool stuff around here, right? What am I doing? There we go. Uh, I was trying to turn off the light. Um, here's some thing, a, a machine to gamble, all kinds of stuff. A stuffed head of a ghoul, of a death claw. Got a, my disco ball up here, so I can YMCA, you know. And there's uh here's where it's located, Vault 88. There's, it's actually when you're um when you're playing the regular game before you get if you don't have the update, it's it's a quarry. But when you have the update, you go and kill everybody in the quarry, and you can find Vault 88, and then you can make all the stuff from it. And here it is. There's the castle. And you go. Here's how much I've opened up. And you go over here, and right there's the Nuka-Cola World. It's off. It's so big that it's actually off the stage. They they had just created a new air, whole area for it. Um, I have a jetpack now, which I really dig. There you go. And you can knock people down if you land next to them. This thing here, the ammunition plant, you can you can make new armor, you can make if you if you already have the armor or have the guns or anything like that, it's just cool. Um it eats up your energy though, of course. Uh you can create any of those uh workplaces and, and so whenever I'm nearly out of 45 caliber weapons, uh, 45 caliber ammunition. I'll go in there and uh, make it. You just add steel and whatever else it is, and you make it. Down here is where I put all of my uh, plants and food and stuff for people to harvest. Kind of made it pretty far away, but as you'll see here in a minute, this is a really, really big area itself. It's not as big as Nuka Cola World, but it's really big. See, I've got quite a few people. Turn on my light here. There we go. Um, there's another new guy. I have to come back and if you shut the vault, they won't. There's the guy that that sold you the the, the thing to get into the vault. <laughs> if you if you shut the vault, you can still be attacked from other places. I'll show you here in a minute. But uh if you leave it open people will come but if you shut it then regular people can't come so I just leave it open and arm it to the teeth uh, as you can see it's really big their thing on the red they have five of these and that's how you open it up if you go down that way I just looked uh, that's a whole new area that's just as big as the one you're about to see if not bigger you go through a cave actually there's like three ways to get to this place. Um, this is one of them. Uh, look like a big a JJ. Uh, leads out here to a subway. Nice Nuka Cherry there. But um, to this leads out to the subway. And uh, there's another entrance to get up here. I've never actually come. I mean, I came in here and killed all the ghouls and stuff, and I, I cleared out all the steel and everything else. But uh, I haven't. I don't enter and exit out of this way. Once you, once you get, once this is your major home, you actually spawn when you when you fast travel. You spawn like right over next to the overseer. Uh, this is closed off. Yeah. I've noticed that the ghouls are all gone. There were dead ghoul bodies, I guess, after a while they disappear, thankfully. They were there for a really long time. There was um, death claws and stuff in here and all kinds of uh, critters I had to fight of varying difficulties. Uh, you see I'm here on the other side of the food. Uh, and uh, Get out of my way, Dickie get out of there. There we go. 
Uh, of course, as you see, I have power lines down here because I have uh, uh, missile launchers and all kinds of stuff down here. Really, you know, it just it counts as you have 120 defense, so they you kind of don't get as long as you have considerably more defense than you have food and water then you generally won't get attacked uh, I'm armed to the teeth on this one so it's never said I've gotten attacked if I do then they're not gonna last long uh, they'll have rockets and lasers firing at them heavy lasers alright and all right, we're coming to the end of the show here. Again, there's one section that's huge that I haven't showed you yet. This is that I won't show you in this video. It's just another large section that has another exit. There's one of them. So there's two, actually, that you haven't seen outside of this. This is the first place that I went. Again, to the right there is a place that you have to fight your way to to open it. It's where you... This has a... a it's a water purification, so you have like a hundred water or something like that, so you never have to worry about the water. This is the east sector. Like I said, there's like five or so of these things around. That's a nuclear plant. It gives you like 150 power. Um, <clears throat> here are all the quests that I've worked on. I'm working on those still. I won't finish them. And there's the ones I've done. Um, and, hey, as you